Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to a brand new episode of Bree Speaks. Okay, I'm gonna let I'm gonna be honest with you all. So I had to re-record this episode solely because when I originally recorded it, I could not find it on my laptop to edit it and add all of my things into it. So unfortunately, this is a re-recorded. <laughs> episode for you all and I'm hoping and I'm praying that this episode comes out better than the previous one because I had some technical difficulties with that one can't even front but of course starting off like I start off every episode I want to humbly thank each and every last one of you for taking the time out of your day for just listening sharing and just being an amazing person and allowing me to speak and to share my thoughts and everything with you all I I don't take it for granted by no means and I'm completely and 100% thankful for each and every last one of you all I'm so grateful for you and I thank you so 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 much so today is Saturday it is Saturday and um I hope that you are having a great start to your weekend I hope that there's no troubles, no issues, no anything that you're just enjoying the great weather. It looked like it felt good outside today. Honestly, I didn't go outside. I currently was dealing with a couple of things. So I just stayed home. I just stayed in the house and I cleaned and I cooked and um, I did this episode for you all. And, you know, I also did my hair, which Jesus, you know, I, I sidebar for all of my natural hair beauties, I need secrets. How do y'all get y'all curls to look so, so moisturized, so hydrated? Because your girl over here be struggling. Lord knows I be struggling. And I definitely, 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 definitely need the help. Okay. Um, On the previous episode that I had, I had said something on the lines of, I need to talk to the groundhog that said that spring was coming early i still need to have a word with him but you know what like i said today actually looked very very beautiful outside um it wasn't too cold it wasn't hot by any means so you know all good and well i know that a lot of people are gearing up for the solar eclipse that is coming up and i just want to say my take on that is we get one every few years (laughs) We get one every few years. Literally, that does the exact same thing. All right. Don't put out any fear. Don't try to project any fear um, towards or for anyone. I know that with a lot of people would saying that this whole solar eclipse, you know, is a sign that Jesus is coming back and everything like that. Stop project. Pro- stop projecting that out because no man knows the day, the hour, the time, the second, the moment. Or anything like that. So, my from me to you, for those that do it, stop it. How about let's enjoy the time that we have on this earth while he is blessing each and every last one of us to have it. Let's do that, okay? If you don't do nothing else, <laughs> let's at least do that, please, and thank you, all right? Um... Whew, sorry. Um, so aside from that, so okay. okay. So with that being said, today's episode, today's podcast episode, the topic is do women give toxic men the blueprint to finesse them? And um ladies, I'm 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 sorry, but y- you do. We do. A lot of you do, okay? And I, mm, before I give my tidbit, <laughs> before I give my actual tidbit, I want to actually play a clip from this, um, a show that I watch, um, uh, on TikTok and everything like that. It's called tonight's conversation and they actually spoke on it a little bit. So I'm going to play the clip for you and then I'm going to piggyback off of what they're saying. I think also a lot of women give us the blueprint to finesse y'all. 
right? And, and, and this is what I mean, right? You you go on that first date or y'all exchange those DMs, a lot of women are just lay out everything that I would love to have in a man. Similar to you, like, oh, he prays with me. That's probably because you told him early, yeah, I, I buy your religion. Or, you know, I like flowers every Saturday. Or I like this, I like that. So as a man, if I'm coming in trying to manipulate you, I'm just taking notes as you telling me all this. So I can write it down and I can tell, and, and I can act out everything it is that I know you want keep you at my convenience and it's, and never had to propose to your ass because you gave me the game. Sometimes you gotta let a man show up all on his own, right? And then once he shows up on his own, then you will be able to make a proper assessment. But if you give him the cheat code to the test, you can't get mad at him for passing it. Okay, so that, that just to dissect everything that he literally said in the in the clip, I 100% wholeheartedly agree. We do give these, I'm gonna say guys, for lack of a better term, we give them the blueprint on how to come in and play with us. And just like he said on the first day, you give so much information. Oh, I want a man that's gonna do this. I want a man that's gonna do that. And um, I like this and I like that. Instead of letting him show up and show you who he is, now, well, how, how am I supposed to tell him the things? You let him show you who he is. There's nothing wrong with conversation. You can get to know someone without saying, um, oh, I want a man that prays. I want a man to do this. I want a man to do that. And this, that, and that. No, 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 no. You can literally get across everything that you may want or everything that you are looking for without saying like this i'm i'm gonna give you this platform i'm gonna give you this plan on how to finesse me out of my out of everything how to come in and play with me in my face i'm gonna give you all of it stop that we li we literally gotta stop that and i know it can be hard especially if we've been doing it for since we've been dating but yeah we um we got to do better for ourselves. And aside from just that, even like before the date, a lot of women love to throw on social media. I've seen it on Facebook. I've seen it on Twitter. I've seen it on Instagram. I've seen it on TikTok. I've seen it on Snapchat. Everything that they do when they get a man or the things that they're willing to do once they have a man. Oh, when I get a man, I'm... I'm sucking dick fucking three times a day and I'm I'm doing this. I'm giving him this and I'm we're going to do this and I can't wait till I get a man so I can do this or I can't wait till I get a man for that. And it's like if a man's going to come in, if a man is planning to come in and fuck over you, you're telling him exactly everything that you need from him so that he can fuck you over. Come on now. Let's let's be Honestly, what what am I saying? So I've I, I have someone that's on my Facebook, and every day, several times throughout the day, she says, um, she put posts on how she's good at giving oral and how she loves to how she loves to sexually please her man and this that, and the third, and then um, it's like it's other posts that she um that she has that she posted up about girl on girl and how oh my gosh it feels so good and it's then a third and then it's like the moment a guy came to her life and he really was trying to see if she was about what she was talking about everything got aired out on facebook he disrespected her to the teeth saying talking about her kids and her and how she's ran through and it's then a third and it's like i felt bad for her but it's also at the same time you have to look at you're not the only one that sees your facebook women are not the only one that sees your facebook men are so patient they are so patient especially the, especially if you have those that are they, they they're not trying to do nothing serious they, they're they're just they're just trying to get another notch on their belt as my grandma was my grandma and grandpa would say just no don't turn around to be another notch on on on, on, on these niggas belts i you right you right papa you right papa but when you are constantly putting things out there like that one you sound desperate two you don't sound like you value yourself 
And three, you are allowing any anything, anything to come in and play with you. As a woman, we have, to, and it's crazy because, you know, it's so much going on and, and things to be said that women are, aren't, are only meant to be in the kitchen or we're not meant to vote or we're not meant to work and things in, of that nature. So when you see things like that, when you see women posting things up like that, it's like, okay, well, you know, you ain't good for, <laughs> you can't be good for too much or nothing if you're posting up things like this. All right, well, you know what? Let me see what that mouth do, baby girl. Let me see how good that box is. Because you post all this stuff up. You ain't talking about you wanting forever. I ain't seen nothing about you wanting a husband. I ain't seen nothing about you getting your life together. I don't see no, I don't see nothing about you um, doing this for yourself, how to better yourself, anything like that. I constantly see how you want a man once you get a man. The things you're going to do once you get a man. The sexual things that you do once you get a man. And, and all this in the fourth. And it's like... Do you not have goals for yourself? Do you not have things that you want to achieve for yourself? Are you not trying to get a home? And I mean, don't get me wrong. Some things you don't, stuff like that, you move in silence. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Some certain things you do move in silence. But once you come, if the only thing that you could put on your feet is you basically saying you cannot wait until you get into a relationship and how you're going to do this when you get a man and how you're going to do that once you get a man, you cannot expect to get a man that is going to be serious about you and be there humbly for you now i could be wrong and if i'm wrong father god forgive me but coming from a man coming from a man's point of view from that clip i can't be too wrong i can't be too wrong i don't know a woman that doesn't want to be married i don't know a woman that doesn't want to have someone who loves and understands and cherish, cherishes her sees the value in her and, it's, and all these and the third but baby you gotta see the value in yourself you gotta cherish yourself you gotta love yourself you can't want someone else to come into your life and do all these things and you can't do it for yourself and it shows because of the shit that you post you can I have no like it's nothing wrong with like reposting certain things and, and like adding a comment to it it's, I'm, I'm not saying it and i'm i'm personally i'm not saying i'm not saying what you can and can't post what i'm what i'm mainly saying is when you post things like that you can't expect to get someone to come and see a life that is serious about you when you're playing about your own self you can't i don't feel like you can because as much as we love to say that men don't pay attention to shit they pay attention to shit they pay attention to that type of shit. And I humbly know and feel like a lot of men know who they can and can't, who they can and can't play with. Just by if just by certain things that we throw on there, that we that we put up, how we talk, how we dress, how we conversate. I'm not saying you gotta act like you stuck up. Please don't do that. Please don't say, oh well, Bree said this. Devil is lying. Bree did not say that you gotta act like you gotta stick up your butt and that you got an attitude problem at all. I'm not saying that. I'm simply saying how you carry yourself and how you present yourself on this social media, because social media is still big, it's still booming has a lot to do with the type of people you attract to you and even with posting all that stuff even if you're the type of person who you have like a light to you you have like this it's hard to describe and people are drawn to you you can draw the wrong type of folks to you if you are a giving person you're gonna draw people who are takers from you okay and this just goes also into setting boundaries as well. It's nothing wrong with setting boundaries by no means. Especially when you when, when you're in the I don't want to say it's dating, but it's 
uh, the conversation phase, like before you even go on your first date, like, you know, y'all are conversating. So y'all are texting or y'all DMing, you know, for some it's before you even give them the number for some it's after you gave them the number, y'all ain't, y'all ain't set up a date yet. Come up with certain, some, uh, talk about something else other than, <laughs> um, I want this and I want that. Because if you pay attention to everything that you're saying that you're wanting, he's not saying much. He's just listening. He's taking notes. All right, I'm gonna give her this. Okay, she says she want a man that pray. All right, we go. I'm gonna I'm pray with her. Oh, um, yeah, that day. She says she like flowers. All right, I'm, I give her. You know, I I go to uh, the corner store get her a couple flowers. She'll be all right, whatever. Let him show you exactly who the fuck he is before you, I'm not going to say before you say anything, allow him to show you the type of man that he is, period. Conversate, go out on dates, you know, see what your interests are. I mean, damn, we don't even do that. Do that even, do motherfuckers do that? Do you actually engage in conversation to see what is the interest of someone like for me so for those that do not know (laughs) i am a gamer i love playing call of duty uh dead by daylight um i have a dream light that's uh it's a disney game it's disney dream light and I'm getting into my Mario games. Listen, sidebar. Mario be on some real other bull crap, okay? This Mario Wonder and this Mario versus Donkey Kong be kicking my ass. Okay? Not even... Oh, all right. Away from the sidebar. I love reading. Now, um, so the type of books that I like to read are fantasy, some smut, <laughs> and I know this 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 goes against every of the other two, but I've recently just started getting into the Bible, so yeah. But at the same time, if you if we can't have a conversation of you letting me know what your interests are, and you know we're going back and forth like that, there's nothing for us to talk about. I remember a few years ago. I had this young dude. I mean, he was like, he was really trying to get at me, right? And you know, we we would talk or whatever. But I I I surely saw without too much time, it wasn't gonna go nowhere. He wasn't my type. He wasn't for me. None of this shit, honestly. Why? Because he would try to make jokes that weren't funny to me, and then would get mad because I didn't laugh at the jokes or because I said that he was not funny. He wasn't funny. Like you're talking about, oh, I'm gonna shoot up this place. Well, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna burn up this place. And I'm just like, the fuck? Oh, okay. So then this one particular time, I'm like, you know, let me talk talk to him. All right, let me let me get him a little bit benefit of that. Let me let me talk talk to him. And so then he's like, um, I asked him like, okay, so like, you know, what do you like to do? I like to smoke. Smoke what? We okay, no judgment, whatever. Um, so he's like, Oh, you should come and get me, and we can go out on a date. I'm like, Okay, so we, okay, you know, boom, where are we trying to go? Where you, where you, where you want to go? Where you want to take Oh, uh, we could just um drive down Lakeshore Drive, you know, and smoke weed and listen to music. What you say, you want to do, huh? Baby, that ain't no date. What's the end and destination? Like, is it a picnic going on somewhere around there? We doing a movie in the park. Um, we going to the park. Like, you know, because I still slide down the slide and swing on some swings. I don't care. I'm still, look, I still got a child. I'm still a kid at heart. Okay? We finna blow some bubbles or some shit. I mean, like, what is you, like, what are you saying? Do you just want to get in the car? Because you ain't saying nothing about putting gas in the car. I'm just going to put that out there. So I don't give a fuck what nobody say. So you want me to come pick said person you up. Drive down Lakeshore Drive. 
while you, because I don't smoke weed, while you smoke in my motherfucking car. And that's all you're supposed to do. Go all the way up, lake shore, and drive all the way down. Lake shore drive. That's it. Baby, I ain't even finna waste no more of your time. This is not going to go anywhere. I wish you the best of luck in life and in love. And, um, yeah. Yeah. He didn't like that. And I, I personally did not care. I did not give a fuck. You have nothing else that you want to do for yourself? So then, I think like a week later or whatever, um, he, he called to ask me to, for a favor or something. I'm like, I ain't doing nothing, whatever. Why not waste time? So I went, got him, picked him up, took him to something. And then I drove him back home. I didn't have an issue with it. I wasn't doing nothing with my day. My kids were in school. I was bored as shit. So, you know, why the fuck not? And so I remember this because the police was like at the corner of his block as we were pulling back up. And... He was just like, oh, well, fuck the police, and this, that, and that. And I'm like, oh, shit, he got this stupid ass shit. And we was doing so well. And then he, st- he was like, I'll whip this motherfucker out right now. And I'm like, fuck, fuck about your shit. And then he proceeds to stand up out of my car while the door is still open and whip out his penis. And I'm just like, he was like, that motherfucker fat, ain't it? Not really. I've seen bigger. Put that thing away. Put that toy away, sir. Because you ain't intriguing nobody. It, that ain't... I'm good. In fact, don't call me no more. Why? What I do... Just, just, just forget that you ever had my number. Okay? I appreciate you being interested in me. I appreciate that. I whole humbly do. But from this point point forward do me one good solid don't call me no more don't text me no more in fact delete my damn number see that's what i'm talking about y'all older women y'all so serious no no no, baby i know how to have a good time i know how to joke i know how to smile i know how to play it's just one you ain't funny two the fuck and three move your ass the fuck around what is wrong with I don't get what's wrong with motherfuckers saying rejection. Y'all really don't like rejection. Why is that? I mean, nobody really likes rejection, but damn. It's weird. But whole wholeheartedly, let's go going back to the topic of this episode. Do women give men, not even just men, do women give toxic men? The blueprint to finesse them. Yes, the fuck we do. And we need to stop that shit. Because I don't know about y'all, but I'm tired of getting motherfuckers that come and play with me and they is not serious. That shit is, it's exhausting. It's exhausting. Why? Because you start to develop feelings and you get used to them. And then the moment they start doing sad, crazy ass shit, now you wonder what the fuck happened. Why the hell is they doing all this crazy crap? And how, like, what did you go wrong? I can tell you from point A where you went wrong, baby girl. First of all, you put your business out there. That's one. And I'm talking about from from social media. If y'all are, if y'all interact with each other via social media, you put your business out there. Watch what you put on social media. Two, second, y'all met, y'all convers, you know, y'all, you know, you flirt a little bit, y'all exchange numbers. First day, oh, boom, right off top, I want a man that he he buys me flowers. I want a man that prays. I want a man that um he he has a goal for himself. He he wants this, he wants that. And though all of that it might be good, all of that might be, you know, fine. Is he saying that he is capable of doing those things? Is he telling you or is he displaying to you the type of man that he is? Or is he only displaying to you the man that you say that you want? Because I'm not going to lie to you. No man is 100% what you want. What you want. 
somewhere in him some that is different from what you're used to something in him is something different from what you say that you want no one is absolutely 100 perfect at all i know that from experience and i understand that being single does get lonely at times but i ain't gonna lie i'd rather be single than to waste my time I'd rather be single than to constantly keep giving myself my 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 love, my affection, my attention, my my mind, my body, my soul to someone and they don't do shit with it. <laughs> but step on it and crumble it and set that bitch on fire and and, and, and run over it like it's roadkill. You get tired of that. If you tired of that, Let's approach this whole dating game a tad bit different. Because I believe that every woman wants to humbly and truly be loved. But it all start, it starts with us. It starts with self. You can't expect someone else to love you and honor you and care for you until you display it and you do it for yourself. So... Stop giving these motherfuckers what they need to fuck over you. Stop giving them what they need to finesse you. Ain't you tired? I know. I, was, Babe, listen. You know, if I missed anything or that, you know, even if it's a conversation that anyone wants to have and be a guest on my show, hit me up. I don't have a problem with that. I would actually encourage you. I would love to hear from all of you if possible so um let me know what you all think about today's episode be it you hit me in my dms or you comment under it um on instagram tiktok uh twitter facebook however comment i i I welcome it (laughs) I, I, i truly do welcome it i have an announcement to make um so my announcement is starting So I want to try something. I want to try something a tad bit different, okay? So what does that mean? So I love doing my audio podcast. I absolutely do. It it brings me so much joy. I just don't have to do it on a more consistent basis. But (laughs) I also want to try something new. So I, as I stated, I'm a gamer, right? I have a Twitch channel. And the name on my Twitch channel is Thicky1. T H I C K Y one. So what I was hoping to do is every Saturday I go live on my Twitch channel with my podcast, asking questions, conversating with my audience and just getting feedback from um, everyone. And then I still have that podcast that I upload and everyone can hear it. If you can't catch it live, you know, you still get a chance to hear it on Spotify, on iHeartRadio, on Apple Podcasts and Apple Music and things of that sort. So that's what my hope is. And I, I'm, I'm aiming for it to start next Saturday. <laughs> so fingers crossed, everyone. And, you know, if it if it's not meant to be, if it doesn't work out, that's still perfectly fine. Because you know what? I still love doing my audio podcast and I will still continue doing the audio podcast I would just have to be a little bit more consistent with it so with that I'm going to say I love each and every last one of you I thank every last one of you enjoy your weekend be safe out here stay covered in prayer and until next time I'm out <laughs>